Welcome back, Wowzery. Doing another quick video here. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Fletcher class, but first a real quick... Uh, they did a Alpha 8 hotfix, basically. Uh, basically some gun rebalancing for 9 inch and lower. Hopefully it'll be more effective against destroyers. So this will be a destroyer one, so we'll see if it's more effective. Uh, I like this one, targeting rebalance uh, due to the penalty of speed. Now you get those really fast ships and... Uh, you can't hit them worth anything. They're moving fast, straight line. Mm, not so much, but apparently maneuvering is going to be uh, more impactful. We'll see. Uh, just uh, some sharp turning. I didn't, haven't played too much with uh, CSS Virginia, so I don't know about the guns. So they'll be stronger. And of course, uh, this one probably, you no, know, trip one multiple. Books. Expansion steam engines, no, they're increasing the weight so that uh, pre-dreadnoughts can't exceed 20 knots. Uh, apparently some uh, improvements to the AI we shall see in this. Uh, I'm not really doing a main fleet, so don't know about the destroyers. Uh, better maneuvering. Th they promise that. It seems like every uh, every fix... I've never seen the transport ships without a funnel, so I don't know. Don't do much ramming, so I, I, I don't know about smaller ships against larger ships. Uh, hopefully, no, evasion lo logic. No, maybe, uh, maybe that'll help out a little bit. And I haven't been doing too many missions, so I'd, uh, I guess they're doing a mission difficulty setting, which will be interesting. You'll be able to set it you know, easy to hard. And let's uh, get into the design of the destroyer here. The Fletcher. I am going to use modern standard. I can do it with the modern, this one, but uh, it's got a very British look to it. And I'm trying to get No, a non-British look. Got to use these funnels. That uh, was a 36 knot, and a half knot ship. Uh, did have geared steam turbines. I don't know if it's one or two. Oil. I'll go balanced. Uh, presence of electric. Go ahead and get the main guns, single main guns. Oh, I need a barbette up there in front. I don't think that will... I don't think a 5-inch gun will fit on there. Nope. Got to use the other one. And single. And I gotta rotate this on around. Not sure what's going on with that right there. I need a Five torpedo launcher. I'm doing the uh, the modified uh, version. Now, the original version of, sh of the Fletcher's had ten, uh, but I can't squeeze another one in right there, which is where it would be. You can't lengthen this hull, so I mean, you can, but it doesn't quite give you. Still, doesn't give you that room. I don't think it does. Although, let's see. That fits in there. That actually works a little bit better. 
for the uh, AA suite. I can't put one up there. It doesn't uh, doesn't really allow it, so I'll put it down here. And I'll go ahead and give it crep armor, double hull. See if I can increase the flooding. DT increase that. It was 21 inch torpedoes. Gotta get myself a range finder. I'll put radar on it. And of course now I'm overweight. Let's see. And now some parts are badly placed, which means that one I need to redo. And I need to get the shift key going. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately this barbette doesn't go up high enough and the gun interferes with right there, so. I've got a little bit of weight to play with. So I'll see if I can Bring this stuff on up. Nope, there. Eh, a little bit more armor. Let's rename it Fletcher. I actually don't know the first name of this. No. Really, this is a subclass of the Fletcher. So uh, let's let's see how she does. Hop on into battle. And away we go. Yeah. Looking good. Do the AI. Get an overhead view here, see what's going on. Uh, not too bad, except for this guy. I don't know where he's going. Enemy's been spotted. They've smoked. Torpedoes away. Oh, let's slow it down. Oh, we've already gotten a hit with 19 damage. Who got the hit? The Robert Huntington. No, there's been a couple of hits now. Oh, I got hit. Got hit hard right there. With a four inch gun. Oh, got some more hits on him. And there goes torpedoes and... The Fletcher's going to get hit. And so is the Doran. Yeah. That, uh... Was not how this was supposed to go right away. I've already lost one destroyer. Let's see what's a lot of torpedoes, lots of torpedoes. Uh, radar contact. Uh, I mean, just a 
a wall of torpedoes and I'm not really sure what I could have done I mean that many torpedoes it just it gets really difficult to do anything and let's see what happens the rest of the battle here I don't have high hopes if I got some good shots in pretty quick but you know that they're relearning the torpedoes they've got torpedoes ready to go again I, there could easily be another wall of torpedoes so, mm. although I did get him he's got minimum bulkhead so more damage oh there okay we have evened the odds a little bit. And where? Oh, there he is. And this guy's getting getting pounded. Oh, yeah, there we go. Those five inch guns are are doing something. Although was that a torpedo hit? Nope. Oh, there goes another destroyer. Sank. Uh, meanwhile, these two guys are pounding each other. Seventy-four percent, ninety-two percent. There goes a torpedo straight down the middle. Another torpedo. More torpedoes. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at their speed. 46 knots. Good grief. And he's taking a... Man, those 5-inch guns are sure... Sure doing something. Considering he's got... What? Nine... Oh, they're going to spread a torpedoes, but he's already turning. But it looks like he's going to sink and... Wow, the way that started off, I did not expect to win that battle. Come from behind victory after that wall of torpedoes. I thought I was dead in the water, but the Fletchers proved that they're strong, durable, and good design. So uh, hopefully you kind of enjoyed that. And I'll see you next video.